It's a travel day. I can't wait to believe that we've been in Split a month. The time has just flown. I've really enjoyed it here. If they had more openings, we would be here another month. <laughs> we're getting comfortable and that means it's time to go explore something new. Yep. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Ivan's really sweet. He let us leave our bags there until our ferry leaves this afternoon. We've been sitting on the couch watching the ferries come and go, and we decided we just have to be on one of those. So we're gonna take one too. Corchula. Corchula. Ah, oh, yes. That was actually the first place in Europe that I ever wanted to go. We saw it on an episode of that fake show, House Hunters International. And while the show may be fake, the views are quite real. So really looking forward to going to Corchula. There's a bunch of ferries going all over the place. <laughs> if you're taking a car, it looks like you need to use the Yadrolinia, the big ones. We are gonna go with Capitan Luca, which was recommended to us because it'll go directly into Old Town Corchula where we're staying. Otherwise we could go to Vela Luca, but that's on the other side of Corchula and we'd have to take a bus an hour across. Well, I guess we'll get our tickets in a minute. 120. Cool. 4 p.m. down there on pier number 11. Hola. It's a two and a half hour trip, but the tickets are only $9. Now we gotta find something to do for the next six hours. Where are my dragons? Where are my dragons? Where are my dragons? You're fired. <gasps> you can't fire me. Where are my dragons? Many, many minutes later. See you on the boat. What's this? Here we go. It's a big ferry, comfortable seats, hardly any people. I've got my wristband on. I'm looking forward to going to Corchula. There you go. Kind of an espresso. And the machine does not get changed. Oh no. Oh, that is horrible. Just my kind. Exactly four o'clock and the ferry is leaving on time. It's so nice to be back on a boat. Completely agree. So long split, it's been fun. Pulling into the bar. The bar is absolutely beautiful, but I've heard it's very expensive. I wish our window was clear, but the one up front is. A little longer than a few minutes later. Welcome to our new place. This place has everything. A little kitchen with everything you need. This bed. His memory foam. Oh, okay, I gotta get back up. <laughs> I said I wanna lay down. <laughs> A couch. I haven't sat in it. Oh, that's actually pretty comfortable. Has a ginormous TV with Netflix and everything you can imagine on it. And a bathroom that actually has a wash machine. Oak beam ceilings. And he cured them for a year and then put, and then did all this work himself. And our favorite, real stone. We didn't want to leave our place and split, but I'm already glad we're here. Old Town Corchula was built in the 13th century. Corchula's Old Town is one of the most unique places I've ever been. And let me show you why. Notice the cross streets don't line up. The town is laid out like a fish. The spine of the fish goes straight through the middle. The bones on one side are straight, so it welcomes the summer breezes. While this side is curved to block the cold winter winds. Corchula has been strategically significant for thousands of years. But what they're most proud of is Marco Polo lived here. So proud, in fact, that everything around here is named after Marco Polo. And here's a map of all the places he explored. But I'm gonna have to look up how the Marco Polo game got its existence. Well, you know, when they say Marco, and then the person says Polo, uh, not sure how that came about. In a swimming pool. Marco! Well, yeah, but then why would one person say Marco and Polo when it's his whole name? Yes, this is what I ponder. The world may never know. <laughs> The story goes, 
Marco Polo's middle name was Million. Back in those days, they didn't have a word for million. And when Marco Polo returned from his journeys, he was always talking about a thousand, thousand this and a thousand, thousand that. And they began to call it a million. And so the story goes, that's where we got the term for a million. I don't know if it's true, but hey, that's the local legend. thing I have to say though is this is a terrible town for a zombie apocalypse. There's no drawbridges or gates. Where are you down there and I'm up here? <laughs> uh, World War Z, I get you really fast. According to Carl Watson, this is a great place to watch the sunset. But it's closed during the winter time. Missed it by that much. Since our great little apartment's up here, it's lunchtime. This is the movie theater in Corchula. It's awesome. We're here to see Batman. He said, meh. M E H. Meh. Another beautiful day in Corchula. It's so much fun wandering around. You never know what you're gonna find. Like this ancient whispering wall. What's a whispering wall? Everything I say over here, you can hear all the way on the other side. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Gotta sacrifice for the gram, baby. Sacrifice for the gram. <laughs> yeah, I never know what it looks like. Sunglasses don't help a picture. I go back and then delete about a hundred. <laughs> I love this path along the sea. A couple days ago, we walked over there and there is absolutely no path. I'm glad we did it at low tide because we had to crawl over all of those rocks. It took us about an hour and a half. It was fun and you know what? I wish we would have taken some video of it, but you know what? Sometimes when you're in the moment, you're having so much fun, you forget about the vlog. These caterpillars, a giant line of them. There's the leader. This is really cool. I can see why they call it the something centipede, human centipede. You're no. gonna talk about human centipede? I know, that's a horrible movie. Awful, awful, disgusting. I haven't watched it because it's too disgusting. Hello, the leader, leader, leader. And that's another day in Corchula. Time to go back and drink some coffee. It's a bit windy and chilly today. We thought we'd go to the left and check the water. To the left? Well, you know, check along the edge. <laughs> I not? know what you mean. It's coming out of our apartment, taking a left. You probably knew what you meant too. This is the directions of our life. Which way is north? Uh, having the clue. Well, I'm going north. No, right now we're going west. Shut up. I just can't deny giving me the best time. My body's shaking, shaking every time. Didn't take as long to put on beanie caps. <laughs> if there is one place in all of Europe so far that we've gone to that I would love to come back and do in the summer, it's Portugal. Absolutely. It's so much fun because every nook and cranny, there's a way to get into the water. This place is special. <laughs> the water is, it's windy as heck right now. Hopefully the new mic works, but the water is, I think the clearest water I've ever seen. I'm looking for animals. Good luck. I got to pet a cat today. Hot shoe. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna find when you just head up a trail. We just came up on this cool, I don't know, old castle thing. We're gonna look and see if we can find out what it is. There's so much neat old stone construction all over Croatia. It's really cool. I have precisely no idea what that plaque says or that one. If you like to hike or walk, Corchula is an amazing place. 
And it has only trees. That is one of the big differences from some of the hikes we did. There were trees around Split, but this is actually forests here on Cortula. Beautiful, amazing, <laughs> our, our favorite words. So that's for you, Lou. Oh, but fun facts. The island is 30 miles long, or is it can be? Darn it, like, I left it in my pocket. Just say it with confidence. Okay, oh, <laughs> it's 30 miles long and five miles wide. So we're gonna go all the way, no we're not. Uh, since we're close to one of the grocery stores, we might as well see if they have some um, roast chickens. Who could have ever foreseen Katie wanting to stop at a grocery store randomly <laughs> in the middle of a hike on the top of a hill. Right. Out we go, okay. to the grocery store. So we just went for a grocery run and I thought I'd show you what we got for 21 US dollars. We went on a walk <laughs> and then we went up at a grocery store. But at that grocery store, we got five uh, five meals for 21 US dollars. And this is what we got. Kilo of rice, chili sauce, ketchup. I can't help it. I got some bread, lots of bread. Love my bread. <laughs> and two and a half chickens, plus a whole pile of French fries. Now it's time to snack. <laughs> French fries and chicken for dinner? Yep. Out. This is so sweet. They left us something on the window seal. <laughs> Dear Katie and Chris, I left you a small cr gift to remember your stay in our apartment. That's so sweet. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. Oh, my goodness, it's heavy. Oh, how beautiful. That's so cool. Wow, that is really heavy. I hope you like it. The sculptor is a cousin of mine and I love her work. Well, we do too. It is absolutely beautiful. They even offered to let us use their car, but we had so much fun walking around, we never got around to it. <laughs> we definitely would recommend this place. You could find it on booking. The people are great. The apartment was wonderful. And we'll leave the information right here. I believe that's our ride. Cortula has been the highlight of our trip to oh, split no to Croatia <laughs> uh, it lived up to all the dreams I had about it and also surpassed them you have to visit if you come to Croatia oh it's worth a trip all by himself absolutely oh uh, now we're getting on hopefully that catamaran to take us to Dubrovnik for the night. Before we get on another bus to, you will see. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the, the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>